Hello folks, today I'd like to explore abstract syntax tree in another way, so let's get started. Here we have an example that is just like uh, some SQL file with several statements and the thing is here uh, is that sometimes when you are uh, building something you need to share but you also need to be careful and you need to anonymize things. So for example, in this case here, if you check here, we have like ticks, so you could call it like a table one or something that could remind you about this later, but not like remember any of your business or anything that could be sensitive to your business. Okay, so that's the idea. And we could do this replacement by using like regular expression, but we could also do it with abstract syntax tree. So let's dive into this exercise with FAST. FAST is a tool that allows you to play with abstract syntax tree. And with this tool, you can also build things like we are going to build today, one type of like anonymizer. So my idea is if I, I jump into this type of file, I would like to replace like ticks here and I would like to replace more of this. So what's my my process of prototyping? Generally, I have this, for example, uh, example, so I can say here fast, and then I can just put like minus minus pry to get into the example. And let's do it here. Let me just uh, focus on this, uh, this tab now. And uh, if you see here, we will have result and the result will be the first statement that's the drop statement if they say here result.search we can see it here and you can see here for example the ticks part right and uh, with fast you can do things like a result and then we can say replace here and then you can say for example replace svol with uh, for example table one right and if you if you see the new code you see that it will replace the entire thing here it was not replacing it properly but we are going to do one replace by one and then we'll get there like uh the problem was in my query here but we we that is my objective here that's what we want to build so if we go to the next result for example you can see here that it's like a create statement. So if you see the source here, this is the create table ticks. And then you can see here, for example, things that we could anonymize like rel name or co name. So this is the type of thing that we can find. And, and then what we need to do is just like build a replacement for them. So let's try to think about how we are going to build this. So here, here you we need to just identify first so for example now we identify that we have like these types of like sval and we also have other types here so let's get this ast so from this file so ast here equal fast dot parse sql file and then i can say here example dot sql right and so if you do here fast search and then i can put here for example uh sval and also rel name and then for example if we do this uh on ast we will get a bunch of results right so <clears throat> in this case we see that like Rel name, a rel name is really promising here. If we just filter for rel name, we will get uh, real things like that we should anonymize. In other cases, like PG catalog or time bucket, maybe we should not anonymize them. So we should go one by one. So here is the thing that we need to build. We need to find a way to get the rel names and then also check later if any string vol is around that vol name right so that's that's what we need to build so if we do a first run we can just collect row name here 
So for example, if I say here capture, uh, uh, I can say capture and when I use a, a dollar sign, I can capture something from somewhere. And in this case, <laughs> it seems kept, uh, AST here is not prepared uh, for uh, receiving uh, the same as a search can do it. So let's get like just search, search, and then we can just uh, grab by string here for now. And then we will have the uh, the possible names that unique, for example. Okay, so now if we go, we can also build a more a more interesting expression here that can be row name or it can be svol with some possible values here and uh, these values can be coming from underscore dot join with a space so we can just uh, uh, make them join as uh, with space but as they are strings we also need to make them separated strings so we should be doing something like this so here is a string that is starting so i just need to backtick it here because otherwise it would not work as we don't have a, a syntax highlight it becomes harder to understand what's going on here but let's try to build this so here we will have this row name so and and then i can just and here we can just say for example that we are going to have underscore one here and then and then we can say or oh, if this is a row name in this ast we will get everything that we need to replace so that's all that we need to to start doing this anonymizer and then if we get like uh for example dot map oh sorry source you can see that most of them are right the first one looks like i have a problem in the statement but the rest of the statements they seems and they seem totally right and it will be replaced in the right way so that's th that's how we are going to 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 begin this journey and and now we we just need to be uh replacing everything related to these elements and then we can also be looking for using the same reference so for example if i say ticks here probably i should reuse the same ticks uh everywhere so like the table name will be like table one for example so we can just refer to everything that sticks to table one everything that's candlestick one minute to view one minute or view one or whatever so that's the main idea of what, what's necessary to be built here and now it's time to just to wrap this into a script that we can just make it work so we have a few things already in place here so we we need to map this we also need to map this and um, and uh, i can also show you some more advanced patterns that maybe can be used here so for example um we have this uh, round name thing and uh, that's uh, that's very cool because round name uh can be can be something here uh that's like a capture and then if we try here, we can also say uh, that the vol here came from the row name. And that's like a valid syntax. So the percent one will be interpolated as previous patterns. Uh, if 
that is in the same context. So let's see if we get somewhere here because I never tried this. And uh, okay, so it's you must define arguments to match. Yeah, so this is really like not possible. I, I, I am just trying to think how I could do this because generally the idea is that I am navigating into some something and when I capture something and I go deeper and I find like other backward references, but it's just like going uh, forward from the root to the, the nodes of the tree. So it's it's not available as this, but that, that would be a, an option. So that's uh, that's what we are going to build now. This is very easy to, to continue from here in a fast file. So let's go and start some fast file here. Uh, I already have a fast file and I have here another one that's a uh, uh, format. I just uh, open a few lines so we don't need to to be looking for the previous shortcuts and uh, and here we can start with uh, one new that will be fast shortcut uh, let's call it anonymize sql and here we can say let's let's put some example yes and uh, and then we can just say here Fast shortcut anonymized SQL. Thank you, Copilot, for all this code. And um, here it's just to trying already some stuff and just suggesting some boilerplate. I will remove most of this part. That is the part that we are going to work because here we have the AST, and then we can start the replacement. And here we will have our pattern, and then we will replace here something with so we will replace the node uh, uh, node dot location expression with uh, we can generate name for this node and uh, this generate name here that we are going to build now we will need to just to work on this so uh let's just try to to make this thing uh, available uh we can just say node source here or we can just for example to simplify it we can call like a memo of this node source is r x memo size that's a good one memo and then we can just have a, like a memo here and this will will just be like a hash map where we can call it for example let's call it table here just because probably it will be a table or yeah x1 is also a good one so and the pattern here is is just like fast so here we can just say search uh, for um, oh, this is this is wrong. So we need to say uh, row names here is search for row name in, in the AST and uh, and here we want to get here dollar sign underscore and then capture just grab the string nodes so that's how we get the row name and then we can get the unique from the row names and then our pattern will be basically row name or it will be as well and then here we will have uh, a bunch of SVL options that will be mapped into row names that join. Okay, so now we have something here. We can also say uh, to map inspect just to get the quotes and then we can just join with space and then we can close this 
and then we can close this and close that one okay so the pattern now is almost ready so we are going to search so we can just put here some message to say searching with pattern and then and then we can just, uh, just show here for example puts a replace memo source node source with this so that's that's how we can we can do this and then we can just keep this memo around and let's double check if we can make it work so if I just uh, read this here now, you can see my, my other file here. Oops, I got different uh, setup, so I can just uh, I just come back to one single page. And then now we can just say fast, anonymize here. And in theory, it should just say row name, replace it with B. And it seems it worked. What we missed was really just implement the puts here in the final file will be the result here so we can just say content equal and we can say here fast highlight and content and then you have it in a more beautiful way so let's call it again uh, replace oh i still miss the putting the puts file here <laughs> So I can I need to say puts here because highlight will just create the content version. Yay! So now we have here select star from x zero where ordered by c and so on. So we got there, and if we get like for example table b here, let's say this is the same name, and then we we'll get table b. So it was not replacing the the same the same thing maybe maybe it's it's uh, it's not going to our real names and that's the case but that's the that's the beginning if we go now and try to do fast dot anonymize and then we we get our example file that's here we can see here that uh, it's just searching but for some reason it didn't get any of these things so we need to go there now and uh, we can also debug it the debugging is the most virtuous part of working with ruby when you can just like go back and try things uh, again uh, here i think i already get some problem here because the ast should be the array so we don't need to get it there Let's just uh, uh, try this uh, without the AST. And now we get it. And uh, uh, that's, that's very nice that we, 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 we got the entire script being replaced here. So you can check here, replace ticks. We got some problem here with like the ticks initially, but this is just like a small bug. I will fix it, but the thing here is like ticks can be x1 x2 and then uh, later it just find that it sticks again and then it's interesting because like a create table here x1 uh here it refers to x2 but it could refer to x1 probably this is because i have here double ticks and single ticks and i can also normalize it now because this is the type of thing that you can you can also be uh normalizing so for example uh in this case i can i can just uh, uh for, let's say uh, if we just uh, replace in the sql file view for now just to guarantee that uh, we don't have it oh we cannot because this is a different element it's right uh, so let's go here and let's make it even more crazy because maybe what we need here is is just to uh, a few other comments. I just put here this uh, this that will create an empty statement, 
and see if we can move without this bug in the first element. And uh, as you can see here, we have X1. And then uh, the problem is that ticks and ticks with double and single quote are different. So let's inspect it for, for a little. Maybe uh, we should we should just uh, be building a better memo that just recognize such difference. So if we if we get here into the memo here, you can see that we have this uh, memo source and the source here probably we should be just doing something like removing both common and non-common and the quotes here so if we get into something like this probably you i can show you this so for example if we go in, in the erb here and we try here for example double quote ticks and then uh and then we we try here for example uh, dot tr you can see that uh, we have a problem i will just use a percent here because i love this percent please and i can also just say this or this so i am going to remove both double ticks or let's say if this is with uh, wrapped on, on this, this will also be removing both cases. So I just introduced this to be normalizing our memo here. Uh, so this is a, a very tricky thing that we can be we can be trying, and then and then it will be just using the same memo there. Maybe like if you miss the quotes, you need to learn it on the go. So let's discover. I will just close here, go to the repo, and then I can say here, anonymizing the SQL here. Then now we can see here, uh, replace with X1. And here we can see that we already have a problem because like this is a string vol. So if this is a string vol, we will need to just say something. So um, this is a uh, node source, so we are saying that we are going to replace it with this uh, new memory. Okay, so this is the new name. And here we can say new name. And then here we can just uh, think that maybe new name will be... Uh, uh, wrapped into new name if uh, if the the node type for is equal as well so maybe that was what was missing so we can say here new name and now we can try again and then, oops we got some error here because Probably this is like a new name with a problem, but that's really cool that we just capture it so fast and uh, we can just see it with like syntax highlight. So it's amazing how how fast we can jump into this and, and just start double checking these things. So it seems like oh, what we missed here was this. This was just like a trailing that was there. So let's go again nice so now i can say create table x1 and then i see create hyper table x1 and then when i move here to i can see x1 again and then from x2 and then for example i have like a hierarchical continuous aggregate so x3 is based on x2 and it worked so i'm very happy that i achieved it i hope you enjoy this and I will also be publishing it as a blog post or something. So you have this shortcut later if you want to explore it yourself. Thank you for watching. Happy coding.